everyone, this is Carol. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this creative intro. Since the editing tips involved are quite a lot, we will divide the series into several episodes. And in today's video, we will focus on the graphic transformation, text flashing effect, and animation production combined with the 3D and 2D graphics effect. So if you're interested in this topic, keep watching. In the last video, we have learned the graphics and text rotation effect. We can use this effect in various ways, actually. For example, we can use this color to create a loop effect as well. Then, we can shorten the duration of the effect a little bit to create the effect of a rectangle turning into a circle. Next, we add a text to the top. Click here to create a new text. Change a text like to this. Choose this font. Adjust the size of the text. Next, we shorten the duration of the text. Then move the position of the playhead and copy the text several times. Then change the color of the adjacent text. The shadows can be either altered a little or kept to its original. Let's play and see the fact. Well, not bad. There we can feel a sense of the flashing. On top of that, we can continue to innovate. We can turn the rectangle into a circle, and then turn it into an image, and then into 3D. The process is also very simple. First, add a solid color image. Then, we add a circular mask effect. Next, we add another material to the overlay track. Let it cover the subsequent solid color image. Here we will use this image to demonstrate. Well, not bad. Let's add a zooming effect to it. Click on motion. Add a keyframe at the beginning. Adjust the display arrow to restore the image. And then add another keyframe at the end. Here we're zooming a little bit. After we finish, let's check out the effect. Well, there is a feeling of motion. Next, we need to add another 3D effect. We put a green screen earth material on the overlay track. Then, find in the inspector the green screen. Check the enabled box. After that, we adjust the size. Make the size of the earth and that of the circle in the front match up. Let's play it. Well, it works pretty well. And you can follow your imagination 
and use any spherical object compilation to do the transfer. Well, that's all for today's video. And if you want to learn more about adding tricks, what has been going on with Vidipro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.